What's up, YouTube? What do we have now? So, kind of like a month has passed, and we can now clearly see that uh, some things have happened. So, on the lower time frame, oh, on the lower time frame, you can see that we had a little stair that was keep going up and up and up. So we have this level kind of here and we tested it so this is yeah this is classic so first we had big drop um yeah it was around yeah 30 till 40 percent and so you have a little um how do you call it a little stop of falling on the higher time frame so we were uh yeah building up liquidity so now we still have a lot of liquidity but the thing is um, as long as we stay above here wh which we probably will not I believe uh, yeah it still looks good on the higher time frame so um, it doesn't look that good nah. so what did we see? We had this drop from 30 till 40 percent, and uh, now, uh, yeah, we build up uh, this little uh, stairway. And so, what do you do? Uh, the thing is, you are building up liquidity. So the people that are long here, maybe, yeah, the there's always a part that doesn't sell, and it goes higher and higher. So they will stick onto it. And the moment it drops, uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they get fear, so they all get out. So that's why you have a big drop after, yeah, events like this. Um, it was seven percent, I thought. Uh, yeah, ten, seven, all, no, all the same. But um, so now you see that after the drop, uh. Yeah, there is not much happening here. So uh, what you want to see after a big drop is, uh, yeah, either you have a wick. So on the higher time frame, it's best to have a wick uh, because you want to have buyers if you're looking uh, too long here. But as you can see here, there are little to no buyers because yeah. If something happens like this, maybe 8%, it doesn't really matter because if it gets bought up, it's bullish. But now you see there's no one that's buying it up. So uh, we now have this channel. So yeah, the question now is for how long are we going to get uh, stay here? Um, yeah, we've been here uh, for way too long. So I'm not looking for a long here, maybe on the short, uh, on the on the low time frame. But on the low time frame, it is also fucked. Uh, you can see here that um, you have like this top, which is, I think this is the most important to gain. And yeah, yeah, you can clearly see the bottom. But um, yeah, as you can see, there's always you have like. A liquidity thing here and um, yeah it's doing little to nothing so yeah as you can see from the candles uh, there is no one that's uh, buying at the moment and on the higher time frame you can clearly see that um, yeah it doesn't look that good yeah I've drawn it before but like you have like this big pump um you have like this big pump you test it you come back you test it looks like uh you want to to gain the level but yeah it's kind of resistance around here so uh, you come back and you test it but now you fell through it so this uh, level of support yeah if you fail to stay above it it becomes resistance and as you can see now, uh, you had to drop, and you go to test it. It's not uh, a level; it's a it's a range, it's an area. So, yeah, you fail to gain it, and in a really bad way. So the next thing you would look for on a higher time frame would be 
Um, so the first thing you tested was around here like the level uh, the price action around here uh, and the next thing yeah maybe this one but it's nothing <laughs> yeah the next thing will be around the top uh, if we look at bitstamp because it's a higher time frame mm, yeah you already tried to have support on the level here but uh, on the earlier top of 2018 so the next thing would be this top I believe mm, yeah so that would be around 13k which is a lot so uh, the next coming days will be I believe catastrophic uh, yeah high time frame looks bad uh, low time frame looks bad so let's see what happens if you see on the daily it looks whack as well uh, yeah this yeah it looks like it can be lost any second now and the next thing the next area of support would be around oh. uh, yeah I would say here so if you stay above this one this level if you stay uh, above uh, these bottoms maybe maybe we can still be ranging here but yeah everything looks uh, really bad uh, yeah the pump this pump was little to nothing so um, yeah everything looks bad so <laughs> Thanks for watching uh, this pessimistic view and uh, yeah, you can always make money shorting but uh, the thing is if you gain Bitcoin while uh, shorting the, the bull run is even better. So uh, have a nice day and uh, good trading. Laters.